on the scene, what it be, yo? In the club, stay fly like an ego. Stay fresh to death, to be the steeze, yo. Do it for the love, the love plus the people. L Ooh, yeah. Now, if I could put it on the line, that was so bluntly, y'all. Kinda keep it completely 100, you know. Well, let me ask you something. May I, may I, may I be honest with you? Hey, this is Network Queen LP on the scene, and I have the singer, writer, the most talented Noel Gordine here with me. We are at the Brick House in Arlington. How are you doing, Noel? I'm doing great and feeling blessed, highly favored. It's so good to be here uh, at Brick House, first time in Arlington, so, you know, yeah. it's a blessing to be here. Smelling so good. Well, thank you so very much. And you just came from Austin at the Urban Music Festival. Tell me how that went. That went great. I mean, it's always good. There's great people out there in Austin. Uh, you know, the, the staff is great, and it's for a great cause for kids, and uh, I'm always out for that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's also it's for kids uh, to, to have an outlet to be able to work in the arts. So, it. you know, it, great things like that. Before I stepped into the industry uh, full, full heartedly and full time, I was working with group homes, uh, children of, you know, less fortunate children. So uh, it was great to be able to, to contribute and do something like that. Well, I love that. Thank you. That makes me even just have more a bigger crush on you. Absolutely. Yeah. So speaking of kids, what is your most fondest memory of music as a child? Well, it was, I mean, it was hanging, I was always hanging out with my pops, uh, and, and, you know, he wasn't going to be playing that hip-hop music and all of that stuff that was popular at that certain time uh, of me growing up, but I, I, he was playing all the old soul music, so the, the you know, the Sam Cooks, Marvin Gaye, Solomon Burks, Johnny Taylors, uh, Tyrone Davis, uh, Jerry Butler, you know, all that music, Otis Redding, uh, the, and the great soul groups of the past in the 70s and 60s, and, um, you know, I just, I, I began to, I have a, uh, I fell in love with it. You know, I had I had a crush on that music, and uh, you know, I just always knew when it came time for me to start doing my own music, I wanted to have that authenticity. You, uh, you know, that 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 type of music that has message, and yeah. I call it retro relevancy. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Now, I mean, uh, uh, so it's just, it's that music that 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 hark harkens back but still is is you know relevant in this day and time yes thank you i love it i guess i'm still old school i mean i feel like i'm still young but i appreciate that kind of music and i appreciate you for bringing that kind of music you know one of my favorite songs of course the river but one of my favorite songs of course is the F foxy yeah. because my name is in it so i feel like it was for me yeah. tell me how you came up with that song that song um, was actually, I, I wrote that record a, a while ago, and it was just revamped. We just redid it. Um, big shout out, shout out to my man Marcellus Dawson and, and Tommy T.O. Oliveira, uh, the production on that record. It was just, you know, I got the inspiration from, from Prince's Raspberry Beret. And you know, uh, down by old man Johnson's farm. And this is almost like, you know, she's getting in the car. It's 12 o'clock when I pulled up. You know what I'm saying? So she got in, it was slow motion. We got to sit that stuff to sip on, the potion to sip on. Like, it, it's just a r old school riding record. You know what I mean? Yes. And it, it, it's a great feeling type of record. And, and people have gravitated towards that record. And, uh, you know, it's going to be on the new album, City Heart, Southern Soul. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's finally going to see the light of day. The album is coming in in the summertime. I mean, it's it's okay. going to be you know once it gets into the summer, it's gonna, okay. we're going to break it I loose. It. But it's the new the, summer, yeah. it's a summer. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the 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 um the single is coming out. The new single is coming out uh, within the next week or two okay. with the video. Do you have a working title for the album? The working title is City Heart, Southern Soul, and the uh the the single that we're coming out with is Heaven Knows. Heaven knows. Yeah. City Heart, Southern Soul. How did you come up with that? That's kind of like my motto. I mean, uh, I, I, I was born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, but my family is from Mississippi. So I, I've always had that, that Southern thing okay. with me, too. You know, just about every year and spend the time with my grandmama, uh, staying down there for months at a time. And, uh, you know. Shout I, out to grandma. Yeah, yeah. Grandmama, I love you. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm 
kids with the same in my shoe That's my era to share I wonder if you miss me too Cause I'm alone and to get to you I'm sick of staring at my window seal I'm tired of hoping to see who knows me still But back in my back let me ask you this. You know, I just recently started following you on Twitter. Do you actually do your tweets or do you have someone else do your tweets? No, that's me. That's all me. All right. Well, let me let you guys know that he's following me. I'm following him. And he gave me a shout out. So y'all need to follow him on Twitter because he will actually follow you and talk to you on Twitter. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's me. I take pride in that. I mean, I, I don't call them fans. I call them supporters. So uh, I'm I'm always up to to you know conversating and, and tweeting and and uh, you know, just just talking with my with my folks with my supporters. So that's what it's all about. All right, I love it. And all you guys have to do is just Google his name, and you'll find all of that, right? Facebook, Twitter. Yes, yes. Noel Gordian, N O E L G O U R D I N. That's on Facebook and Twitter. Um, hit me up. All right. Talented. He's a photographer, singer, writer, father. I mean, my goodness, he's so talented. This is John Michaels, y'all. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. I mean, it's been a pleasure to be out here at the Brick House. I mean, the performance, being able to perform my songs, and then also the Michael Jackson song I did was, it was just a blessing. I want to rock with you. Yeah, definitely. And then when you got off the stage, what did I say? You said that was your song. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit for me. Girl, close your eyes. Let the rhythm get into you. Don't try to fight it. There ain't nothing that you can do. Oh my God, he's talented and he can sing, ladies. So tell me, you just came from Austin at the Urban Music Festival. What was that like? That was great. I mean, overall, Texas has just been like the the fans are so receptive. You know what I mean? Like the the amount of love they show overall is just it's it. I couldn't say that I've been anywhere better. And the Austin Music Festival was, I mean, the stage, everything was just set up so good, and it was just a blessing to be out there. You sold out all your CDs. Everybody bought all your CDs in Austin. Yeah, it was. I mean. I always like to, you know, reach out to my fans. I was out there touching hands, you know, taking pictures, autographs, everything. And it was just a blessing to be able to sell all those CDs. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you're smart and you run into John Michaels, you want to get his autograph, right? Yeah. Oh, no doubt. I mean, give my autograph, you know, give me anywhere on my uh, social networks. I always like to touch out to people, reach out to people, and uh, speak to all my fans, supporters. You know, that's what I'm all about. Right. So tell me, what is your sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. You know, Scorpio and Aries go good together. Aries. No doubt. I mean, my son's Aries also, so. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Birthday pride. Where are you from? I'm a, a D.C. area, Northern Virginia, like DMV. That's where, when we're at, everybody calls it the DMV because it's all, like, really close connected. Okay. So how did you get started in the whole music industry? You know, I started off actually making beats. Okay. I used to produce, and, um... I did like a Drew Hill cover of April Showers, and <laughs> I recorded it. Like I, I went home, downloaded the programs, recorded, it, and I showed everybody at school, and they're like, "Man, you should start singing." And I was like 15, and that, uh, that's when it started. You know what I mean? 15. Yeah. And then I, I it was kind of like out of necessity, I had to write my own songs to be able to sell CDs in school, and uh, that's how I started writing. True hustler. Yeah, no doubt. Right. All right. Okay, so what is, like, do you have any upcoming projects? What's going on next? Well, the uh, main thing to focus on, of course, is my EP, which is in stores right now, the John Michael EP. You can get that on johnmichaelmusic.com. It's on Amazon. It's on uh, iTunes, RDO, Spotify. And then uh, Downtown Locker Room also is going to start carrying it next week. Nice. Okay, so explain what kind of music, like, wh what is your music like? My music, of course, I love R&B, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a smooth, laid-back type of dude with a nice groove to it. You can two-step, you know, like Sophisticated Lady, which is a single, doing great around the country, Billboard Top 20. And uh, basically, it's just a groove record. You know, you can dance to it. Your mom can dance to it. Your girl, yeah, everybody from ages, 
you know, 15 to 65 can dance to that, you know what I mean? I mean, you performed that tonight at the Brick House, and we had people, like, two-stepping and swinging here tonight. Yeah, they were. They were showing so much love. Like, I, I can't get over how much love Arlington, Texas is showing me here at the Brick House. It's been great. That's great. Okay, so, you know, I'm going to get a little personal here. Love interest? I mean, you know, I'm always open to that, but <laughs> being a performer, it's a busy life. So, you know, my, my main focus, of course, is music and my son. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a faithful guy to religion. I'm very, you know, when it comes to God and everything like that. So that's made my main focus. Right. I mean, but like, so how do you deal with like groupies? I mean, how do you deal with that? I don't want to call them groupies fans. Let's call them fans because, you know, I mean, everybody's a human being. So I like to talk to everybody and I don't let that affect me. You know, I, I, I take everything as it comes. You know what I mean? But it's, it's not something I'm just like out here for the, the money, the groupies or whatever. You know, it's, it's all about music to me. Yeah, I can tell that from you. Yeah. So what is your your future goals? Like, what are you what are you striving for? To be honest, I mean, my aspirations are always to be number one. I want to be the best. I want to be somebody that you see and be like in awe of. And not to be, you know, to sound cocky or anything. That's just my goal, you know what I mean? I want to be, when it comes to songwriting, when it comes to being a performer, I, I strive to be the best that I can possibly be. All right, and I heard like sophisticated, sophisticated lady is top twenty on Billboard. Yeah. How do you feel about that? It's. I mean, I, I don't want to keep saying it's a blessing, but it is a blessing. You know what I mean? And and coming from where I come from, where you know I have a long history of just recording. I, you know, I, I operate my own studio. I do a lot of mixing myself, and it's it's just just like it's like a child when when you make a song and you're just proud of it. You know. Yeah. I'm just proud of the fact that people enjoy my music and I'm glad that I have the opportunity to, to push my music out to the world. Okay, so one more question. What is your most memorable, fondest moment of music as a childhood? Like your favorite childhood, I could tell you mine. Mine was when my mother used to go get ready for disco and she used to play Climax and Lisa Lisa and Nicole Jam. And so now to this day, like I love them. So what is your most memorable moment with music as a child? Two words, Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's funny, like that that the movie they made, Michael Jackson, or no, the Jacksons, the American Dream. Okay. I used to watch that movie every day because we didn't have cable, and <laughs> we had it taped, and I would watch. But it was eight of y'all, right? Yeah, it was. Wow. And then at one point, my mom and dad they got rid of cable, they got rid of TVs, and then my brothers to entertain the family they would say, um, John, do the moonwalk or whatever. And that's like what I would do. Oh, I love it. That's why big families are good. Old school's good. I love it. Yeah, I'm the middle kid, so I mean, I, I had to, I got beat up. I had to entertain. I had to learn how to make grilled cheese sandwiches, everything. Yeah, I saw some of you. You can cook, too. Yeah, I mean, I, it's fun. I mean, I have a cousin, an uncle. They're like actually executive chefs, so it kind of runs in the family. All right. Well, you guys, check out John Michaels. All you got to do is just Google him, and you'll find, what, your Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, my Twitter is uh, for John Michael. That's the number four, then John Michael. My Facebook is official John Michael. My Instagram is also official John Michael. And my website, once again, is johnmichaelmusic.com. All right, y'all check John Michaels out. Yo, do it for the love, the love plus the people. LP on the scene, what it be, yo. In the club, stay fly like an ego. You know we be VIP wherever we go. Do it for the love, the love plus the people.